But uh, Judge Pavlaka, many people in the Philippines say that the ruling was useless because uh, there is no international police that can enforce the ruling. As a judge, how would you respond to these kinds of uh, feedback? No, I respond the same way as uh, you can respond to international law. International law is uh, different from internal law. Because in internal, uh, internal law, um, there would be policemen to enforce it and... Uh, yes, uh, gendarme, yes, you have army, you have rockets. Yeah, you can jail your opponent. Yes, but uh, international law is based mostly on reciprocity. What does that mean? It means that <laughs> if you are doing something wrong, you will be not accepted. But if you are doing good things, the other party should do the same. And if you are hostile to the other country, the, the, that country expected will be hostile to you. And this reciprocity question is important, let's say, diplomatic situation. You have a diplomat in your country and in my country. If we treat your diplomat badly, you have retorts to me to treat my diplomats badly. So this reciprocity goes. This is one principle. Another principle is good faith. And if you have an agreement, if one party sign and ratify the agreement, you expect that the party will fulfill the agreement. If you have UNCLOS, United Nations Convention of the Sea, of, on the, all of the sea, and all partners accepted the same rules. And we expect that the party will follow the rules. But there is no privileged country. There is no privileged state. Each party to the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea has the same rights and the same obligations. And that's why this is reciprocity. This is a balance of interest. Once you signed this, you negotiated this, you signed it, you ratified it, you have to fulfill it. There's no other way. So I mentioned in my, in my intervention today about cases where you have uh, uh, people who study this issue. Many, many states don't comply with the, con with the uh, verdicts and awards of the tribunals. Mm -hmm. And some are fulfilling step by step, and some are fooling full, but they are protecting their prestige. So they don't admit that they do it, but they do it. As I mentioned, Russia was mentioned by someone with this case between the Netherlands and uh, Russia about this uh, Greenpeace ship there. Mm -hmm. They arrested ship, Russians, arrested the crew, mm -hmm. arrested the, 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 the Greenpeace people. They didn't recognize the award, but step by step they released ship, they released, they released the, the arrested, arrested people and crew. So in a matter of fact, they used they didn't accept this, but they accepted the, the merits of the, of, the, of the situation. Of course, uh, this is a question of general international law. General international law, as you mentioned rightly, has no police, has no prison, has no pressure. But it's kind of long-term interest. I, I think it's better to have for one country with another country friends than enemies. Because this is reciprocity. If you will be unfriendly to me, I'll, I'll be paying the same. I'll be unfriendly to you. And uh, for the long run, I think the economic interest, security interest will prevail. And there's a Corfu, Corfu a case, 70 years, no more, 85 years old. And finally, Albania <laughs> recognized this payments which they have to cover for Great Britain.
What do you mean when you say that in the long run, economic interests will prevail? Economic interests will prevail and security interests will prevail. What do you mean? I mean that you expect that instead of having enemy and to defend yourself, you have a friend who will not attack you. And, uh, and will give you money. Yes, I will give you money and you can earn money for this. You can export your products, you can import cheaper products, you have exchange of, 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 of personnel, you have exchange of money, you can, you can invest. So, uh, for the long run, I think it would be unwise. To, to to say to use the, the 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 military power or to use threats instead of goodwill and cooperation, but I think the most important is good faith because once you sign an agreement like Anglers, the all parties should fulfill the obligations which are there and we and be entitled not only to have a good document but to have your interest protected and you cannot expect that the other parties in this convention have more privileges than you have otherwise everybody will be not equal yeah, but china is a uh more powerful militarily and economically and they can always say mm -hmm. that uh, you know uh, we are richer than you so you have that ruling but we have the money we have the arms this is a question of big power policy so this is a subjective approach to this i understand and uh, i respect chinese interests i i admire this country for for this culture, for the, 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 the productivity and position in the world, but also expect that China will, will be dealing with the neighbors and not only neighbors based on the law, not on their own interests only. Because? Because they are equal to others. And uh, I think this equality will be the basis for cooperation. Otherwise, in the United Nations, every small country, being the United States, China, or Russia, or Palau, or, 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 or Malta, have the one voice and one vote. The Security Council has more responsibility. Members of the permanent members has more responsibility. But otherwise, every state is equal. And once you have an agreement, you expect that your partner will do the same that you have. As a matter of fact, China got much from the UNCLOS because the UNCLOS granted China, like to other countries, these zones, the Victorian water, adjacent waters, continental shelf, and, and, and the economic free zone. So, if China got it, it's about, I don't know, about 40% or more of this uh, nine-dash-line area, but no more. 